The civil war and the genocide left the country in ruins. However, this hasn't stopped Rwanda from undergoing remarkable transformations. The growth rate has increased to about 8% annually, poverty rates have fallen, maternal and child health has improved, and infrastructure and public institutions have been rebuilt. The unnoticeable innovations in the construction domain are remarkable. As President Paul Kagame says he wants Rwanda to become the Singapore of Africa, this vision is rapidly becoming a reality as Rwanda undergoes an astounding transformation in construction and overall development. Rwanda stands as one of the most developed and fastest growing countries in Africa and the world. They prioritize the idea of equality, with women's representation in parliament exceeding 60% since 2003. What's truly impressive is that some of these mega construction projects are chaired and handled by women. His Excellency, President Paul Kagame, is determined to bring Rwanda to a state of being one of the most inspired and attractive nations in the world. In this video, we'll explore 10 of the most remarkable mega construction projects in Rwanda under the visionary leadership of President Paul Kagame. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications to stay updated on our informative content. 10. The Kigali Green City Project Discover how a sustainable and affordable neighborhood is transforming Rwanda's capital city, Kigali. The Kigali Green City Project aims to create a model community in the Kinyinya Hill area of Gasabo, a district within Kigali. This ongoing initiative will provide affordable housing for specific target groups while prioritizing sustainability, cultural compatibility, and climate resilience. It strives to align with Rwanda's current and future cultural and environmental context. Covering a vast 600 hectare site, this project is estimated to cost approximately $45 billion and is designed to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. It will offer around 30,000 housing units, benefiting roughly 150,000 people, and has the potential to create approximately 16,000 jobs for Rwandans upon full development. The Kigali Green City Project focuses on six key intervention areas, including urban planning, housing infrastructure, basic services, and affordability across different sectors. This project sets new standards for green housing solutions and sustainable urban development in Rwanda and across Africa. Additionally, it designs urban spaces that promote social cohesion, equality, and inclusion, providing much-needed affordable housing for lower-income earners. Furthermore, the Kigali Green City Project enhances environmental biodiversity and reduces air pollution. Rwanda even observes car-free days, encouraging citizens to walk and bike to reduce air pollution in major cities. This event takes place every third and last Sunday of each month. 9. Isaka Kigali Standard Railway Project The Isaka Kigali Standard Railway Project is part of the collaborative efforts between Tanzania and Rwanda to enhance both internal and external connectivity with the overarching goal of contributing to poverty reduction. This ambitious project comprises a railway line approximately 450 kilometers in length, with 275 kilometers in Tanzania and 175 kilometers in Rwanda. The agreement for this project was signed on March 9, 2018 by the governments of Rwanda and Tanzania. The estimated cost of the project stands at about $3.6 billion, excluding taxes, levies, and custom duties. Rwanda's share is approximately $1.3 billion USD, while Tanzania bears the larger portion, at about $2.3 billion. The primary objective of the Isaka Kigali Railway Project is to reduce the cost of imported goods in Western East Africa. It's worth noting that Isaac Camwellway, a former member of parliament in Tanzania, expressed commitment to strengthening collaboration to ensure the timely realization of the Isaka Kigali Railway Project. This 450-kilometer-long railway will connect Tanzania's Isaka to Kigali in Rwanda, aiming to improve connectivity and lower freight transportation costs in the East African region. The project's key objectives include enhancing the connection of landlocked countries to the global and African economies, improving the reliability of rail transport on the central line in Tanzania by approximately 40%, reducing the wear and tear on road networks, Increasing the financial attractiveness of potential mining developments. 8. 
The Bugisera International Airport, with President Paul Kagame's vision of making Rwanda the Singapore of Africa and the impressive projects underway, Rwanda is indeed making strides toward this goal. The Bugisera International Airport, set to become one of the largest in Africa and ranked approximately 49th in the world, is a significant part of this transformation. Located in the Bugisera district, approximately 40 kilometers south of Kigali, Rwanda's capital, the airport is expected to be completed by 2026 and comes with a price tag of $2 billion USD. This project exemplifies Rwanda's unwavering focus and determination in the realm of development. Once completed, the Bugisera International Airport will feature a main terminal spanning 130,000 square meters, accommodating 8 million passengers annually and up to 14 million in the years to come. Additionally, there will be an adjacent cargo terminal capable of handling 150,000 tons of cargo annually, covering an area of approximately 2,500 hectares. Qatar Airways will have a 60% ownership stake in the new airport and acquire a 49% share in the national carrier, Rwanda, providing access to over 65 destinations worldwide. Notably, the airport will also host a training school for aspiring pilots. The Bugasera Airport is planned to be constructed in five phases, with the first phase completed by 2020 to make the airport operational. The final phase is scheduled for completion by 2045. This ambitious project will not only advance Rwanda's infrastructure, but also generate employment opportunities for many Rwandans and potentially foreigners. 7. The Rusumo Falls Hydropower Project The Rusumo Falls Hydropower Project is a collaborative effort between the governments of Burundi, Rwanda, and Tanzania, facilitated by the jointly owned Rusumo Power Company. The agreement was signed on February 16, 2012, and the project is situated on the border of Rwanda and Tanzania, along the Kagera River. This ambitious power project aims to generate approximately 80 megawatts, with an equal distribution of power to Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania. It involves the construction of three high-voltage transmission lines, extending from Rusumo Falls to the national grid's load centers in each of these countries. The estimated cost of the project is around $340 million, and construction began on March 30, 2017. The Rusumo Falls Hydropower Project is executed under the umbrella of the Nile Equatorial Lakes Subsidiary Action Program, NELSAP, with the legal framework guided by the internal laws and agreements of Burundi, Rwanda, and Tanzania. Environmental considerations have been central to this project's planning. The region where the construction takes place has limited access to electricity, with only around 10% of the population currently connected to the grid. However, the area holds vast, untapped energy resources, particularly in hydroelectricity. Access rates vary, with approximately 14% for Rwanda and Burundi and 9-10% for Tanzania. Located on the border between Tanzania and Rwanda, the Rusumo Falls hydropower plant is poised to provide energy to all three nations, driving economic growth and poverty reduction. It is expected to boost economic development in various cities and increase social investments throughout the region. 6. The Kigali Arena The Kigali Arena, often referred to as Africa's event hub, stands as the continent's premier destination for entertainment, sports, and events. Equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and offering valuable branding opportunities, this arena serves as a world-class platform for Africa's events industry. It has the capacity to host over 10 major events, each with more than 10,000 guests. Remarkably, this arena was constructed in just six months. The Kigali Arena has already made its mark by hosting significant events, such as the 2019 Quida Izina concert, headlined by the renowned R&B artist Neo and the Youth Connect Summit in 2019. It was also selected as the host for the 2021 FIBA AfroBasket Finals and the Basketball Africa League BAL. Notably, the Kigali Arena offers impressive branding opportunities, including digital branding and media promotion options for event promoters. The construction of this project, totaling approximately $104 million USD, was overseen by the Rwanda Housing Authority. 5. The Kivu Methane Project Lake Kivu is renowned for its unique physico-chemical composition 
and Rwanda, in its pursuit of rapid development, has taken steps to exploit the dissolved methane gas found in this lake. The first large-scale effort of its kind worldwide, in collaboration with the Democratic Republic of Congo. This ambitious project carries an estimated cost of $400 million. The agreement aims to produce bottled gas within Rwanda, a resource that, due to its potentially hazardous nature, presented an opportunity for Rwanda to extract and bottle the gas for use as a fuel source. This initiative reflects Rwanda's impressive and forward-thinking approach to energy utilization. 4. The Kigali Master Plan The Kigali Master Plan for 2050 is the result of extensive participation, contribution, surveys, and analyses of existing development, social, and economic conditions. These efforts have led to shared planning strategies and decisions. Kigali, as the central hub of transformation in Rwanda, is evolving rapidly necessitating an updated master plan to ensure the city can effectively meet changing demands. One of the key reasons behind the revision of the 2013 Kigali Master Plan is to enhance its inclusivity by involving the people of Kigali and Rwandans in the review process. The planning principles for Kigali City include accommodating incremental development to provide flexible housing options, facilitating affordable housing, Encouraging detailed phasing aligned with the city's development strategy. Promoting mixed-use development. Supporting green growth which involves sensitive development that takes into consideration the environment and natural resources. Ensuring sustainable and resilient infrastructure services. Promoting inclusivity and equity. The master plan envisions Kigali in 2050 as the center of urban excellence in Africa, embodying the theme Kigali Yaku. Our Kigali. The development themes include the City of Excellence, the City at Work, City on the Move, City for Citizens, City of Mixed Neighborhoods, the Green City, the Efficient City, and the Creative City. Each of these development goals has specific planning approaches, strategies, and targets to establish this vision. Kigali is renowned as the cleanest city in all of Africa, playing a central role in the 2050 Master Plan. 3. The Amahoro National Stadium Project The Amahoro National Stadium is a versatile facility located in the Gasabo district of Kigali, Rwanda. With an initial capacity of 25,000 seats, this stadium is set to undergo expansion to accommodate up to 45,000 spectators. It proudly stands as Rwanda's largest stadium and plays host to a variety of international football matches, concerts, and public events. The estimated cost of this ambitious project stands at $21 million, with a target completion date of 2024. However, like many other endeavors, progress was temporarily hindered by the global pandemic. 2. The Kigali Financial Square Project The Equity Bank Group is poised to finance the construction of the Kigali Financial Towers, courtesy of Equity Holding Venture Capital, with an impressive estimated budget of approximately $100 million. On June 21, 2022, His Excellency President Paul Kagame inaugurated the construction of the Kigali Financial Square, a sophisticated business complex destined to serve as a regional hub for financial services. This visionary project features two identical tall skyscrapers, known as the Twin Towers, which will grace the skyline of Kigali. This eco-friendly development is expected to reach completion within 24 to 25 months. One tower, comprising 24 floors, will accommodate offices, while the other, with 20 floors, will house a hotel and residential structures. Upon completion, it is poised to become Rwanda's tallest building. 1. The Genocide Memorial Center the Genocide Memorial stands as a poignant testament to Rwanda's resilience and unity. Despite the passage of many years since the tragic events of 1994, this memorial remains one of Rwanda's most impressive achievements. It symbolizes the nation's commitment to healing, forgiveness, and unity, garnering international admiration. The Genocide Memorial Center is a place of great significance and is among the most visited sites in Rwanda. It bears witness to the scars of the past while celebrating Rwanda's remarkable journey of reconciliation, a model emulated by many other nations. 
Rwanda, often associated with a painful history, has defied expectations with its rapid recovery from war and inhumane treatment. It stands as an example of effective leadership. The stories shared here, where survivors find strength to encourage others and foster hope, create a profound sense of unity in Rwanda. Additionally, Umuganda, a special day in Rwanda that translates to coming together in common purpose to achieve an outcome, serves as both a social gathering and a platform for citizens to address challenges within their communities. With these awe-inspiring mega-construction projects and its commitment to progress, Rwanda is rapidly emerging as a beacon of success in Africa. The nation has achieved remarkable socio-economic transformation since the end of the civil war and genocide that scarred its social fabric in the early and mid-1990s. Despite these challenges, Rwanda has become a top global and African tourist destination and a magnet for foreign investment. The growth of exports and imports has assumed increasing importance in its future growth strategy. If Rwanda continues its push for economic and construction sector reforms, it is likely to sustain its growth momentum in the years to come. We welcome your thoughts and reactions in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us in celebrating Rwanda's journey of resilience and progress.